Hey everybody, Ash here with Gen Sense, back with another week in fragrance. Technically, I skipped last week's This Week in Fragrance because there weren't too many new releases that were announced that week. There wasn't a whole lot to talk about, and I was super, super busy. But now I'm back with another week in fragrance. I'm gonna let you guys know which fragrances have been announced since we did the last video up until now. There's a bunch of them to cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this right away. So join me now while we talk about some new fragrances on This Week in Fragrance. All right, guys, first off, I'm gonna talk about two, well, technically three releases that literally were just announced, but I can't find notes on these yet. So these ones I'm gonna update again in my next week in fragrance, assuming that notes are announced between now and then. Just gonna let you know that these are coming down the pipeline, that you're gonna be seeing these before too long. First off is a Hugo Boss fragrance. It is a flanker, lots of flankers nowadays. This one is Hugo Boss bottled, infinite. So I've got a picture of the bottle, which you can see right here, but no notes yet. Uh, a few weeks ago, we did cover a couple of new flankers in the Boss Bottled Oud collection of fragrances, and that was a Saffron and Aromatic Oud. So this will mark the third Boss Bottled flanker this year, I believe, uh, but the first Boss Bottled flanker that's actually in the normal Boss Bottled line, not part of the Oud line. The next couple of fragrances are from Abercrombie & Fitch. There's a men's version of this fragrance and a women's version of this fragrance. And I don't have notes for either one, so it's kind of up in the air at this point as to how these are gonna smell, I have no idea. These fragrances are called Authentic. So Abercrombie & Fitch, Authentic. And there's one for men, one for women. And I've got pictures of the bottles for this as well, so right here is the men's bottle. And here is the women's bottle. So again, when I do get the note breakdown for the Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances and for the new Hugo Boss fragrance, I'll update that on a future This Week in Fragrance, just letting you know that these ones you're gonna be seeing a little bit about soon. All right, next up, let's talk about another flanker from Guerlain's Lome Ideal line of fragrances. This one is Guerlain Lome Ideal Cool. I'm actually a big fan of the Guerlain Lome Ideal line. I own every single one of them that's been released up till this date, so this is one that I'm gonna pick up. These are the notes that I've got for this one. Uh, top of bergamot, orange, aniseed, and mint. A mid of orange blossom, aquatic notes, and almond. And a base of patchouli, vetiver, and ambroxan. I haven't seen any actual release information as far as from the house on this one, so I don't have a, you know, the type up that houses will do to try to describe their fragrance and make it sound awesome. I just have these notes. Obviously, this one looks like it's gonna be a summer fragrance. You've got citrus, aquatic notes, ambroxan, mint, orange blossom. All of those are, are typically associated with spring and summertime fragrances. And you do have the almond note, which is in every Guerlain Low Medial fragrance. Hopefully this is a good fragrance, because up until this point, the Guerlain Low Medial line has been very solid. Uh, hopefully this isn't a terrible fragrance that's gonna start dragging that line of fragrances down. Next up, let's talk about Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is launching three new fragrances called Afternoon Swim, Cactus Garden, and Sun Song. These are fresh cologne-like fragrances, according to the company, and they're gonna be coming out in April. Afternoon Swim, according to Louis Vuitton, is full of energy with orange, bergamot, and mandarin. So you've got a trifecta of citrus notes there. And then Cactus Garden is the contrast between the dry outside and wet inside of a cactus with smoky mate tea, bergamot, and lemongrass. And then Sun Song, the sun in a bottle with orange blossom, citron, and musks. So yeah, just those few notes that they listed for each one of these, it does sound obviously like they're gonna be very fresh citrus-based fragrances. Next up, a new Aqua de Jo, Aqua de Jo Absolu Instinct. Obviously by Giorgio Armani, and this one is done by Alberto Marius, who is doing so many fragrances nowadays, it seems like. So this one is a flanker of a flanker. You have the original Aqua de Jo, and then Aqua de Jo Absolu was a flanker of that, and now you have Aqua de Jo Absolu Instinct, which is a flanker of a flanker. Now you may disagree with me, but I think it would be awesome if they came out with Aqua de Jo Absolu Instinct Profumo in the future, because then you would have a flanker of a flanker of a flanker, and I'm not sure if that's been done before. From Armani, almost a year after the launch of the Aqua de Jo Absolu fragrance, the House of Armani is launching its limited edition Aqua de Jo Absolu Instinct, which celebrates modern, spontaneous, and sensual 
masculinity. Uh, this fragrance embraces the sensual relationship between man and nature, mixing the power of water with the delicate texture of wood. It has a top of bergamot, lemon, and marine notes, a mid of Guatemalan patchouli essence and sea wood, and a base of ebony and amber wood. This one's already available in Europe. Not sure when it's gonna hit the US. But believe me, when it does, you're gonna be seeing lots and lots of reviews. Uh, next up, I wanna talk about a Nivea fragrance just super quickly. It's called Nivea Sun. I actually do have a Nivea fragrance. It's an eau de toilette. It's up here over my left shoulder. I've not reviewed it. I'm not sure if anybody would be interested. I actually got it from Germany off eBay for like 20 bucks, something like that. This new one, Nivea Sun, is a fragrance for women and men. It's a new fragrance launched in 2019 with top notes of green notes, a mid of solar notes and flowers, and a base of powdery notes. So green notes, solar notes, powder notes, plus flowers. If you really love Nivea for whatever reason though, be on the lookout for this. Eventually it's gonna hit eBay really cheap. All right, on to the next one. Next up, let's talk about a release from Mimo called Winter Palace. This is a new fragrance in the Artland collection, which includes Tiger's Nest and Marfa. I'm actually a big fan of Mimo. I own a lot of their fragrances. This is one that I would like to get if possible in the future. From the house. The end of winter has come. The Imperial Dragon awakens from his long hibernation. Spreading his wings a little tentatively at first, testing the air, but soon the longing for freedom in the breathtaking landscape of China awakens his fire. From afar, one can see its flight path, tracing the curves of the famous Great Wall of China that stretches across the hilly landscape. The dragon is dancing with joy, drunk with the feeling of freedom. Winter Palace takes you into the land of the dragon. Precious orange oil, bergamot, and the sweet aromas of red tea rise and mingle like hot steam in the cold morning air. It is a heady, invigorating start. The scent of mate and grapefruit reminds us of the ease of an everlasting summer. Soon, the bright citrus notes give way and the woody, spicy character of the fragrance comes to the fore. Amber and vanilla combine in the base for a sensual, spiced warmth that lingers on the skin like the aftermath of love. And this one comes out in April. Next up, let's talk about Gucci Guilty. They have a new release in that line, Gucci Guilty Cologne. Gucci Guilty Cologne Pour Ohm comes out in the spring of 2019. And it's a new addition to the Gucci Guilty line. Uh, from the house, this is an unusual floral fragrance with a strong aromatic character that works as a modern interpretation of classic Italian colognes with woody accords and strong citruses. In the opening notes, citruses are mixed with aromatic nuances of rosemary and juniper berries. Its floral heart of violet and heliotrope is reinforced by Spanish cypress essence. The base contains woody notes and crystalline white musk, and it is created by Alberto Morias. So this week we have two major flankers announced from two major designer brands. Aqua de Joe Absolute Instinct by Giorgio Armani, Gucci Guilty Cologne by Gucci. Both of those done by Alberto Maurice. Now this release for sure is gonna be hated on well before it hits stores. Uh, the Gucci Guilty line is not really well received or well liked by the fragrance community, the people that are more hardcore into fragrances. More casual guys actually seem to like Gucci Guilty a lot. Gucci Guilty, Gucci Guilty Intense, even Gucci Guilty Black, which gets crapped on a lot. And honestly, they're all really good compliment getters. So if that's what you're after, this one could be a solid release. Now I know some of you out there are not gonna like me saying that, I guess, but it is what it is. Gucci Guilty Cologne is one I'm actually really interested to check out. If they pull it off, it could be a really solid release. It could get some good wear in spring and summer. If they don't pull it off, it's gonna be trash. But isn't that really every new release? Next up, a new Mancera, Soleil d'Italie. Just have the notes for this one. Uh, top notes of citrus, pink pepper, and cardamom. Mid of aquatic notes, rose and patchouli. Base of vetiver, cedar, ambergris, and white musk. A lot of you out there already know this, but Mancera is a great starter niche house. They're not too expensive. Uh, a lot of their fragrances are very easy to wear. A lot of their fragrances are great compliment getters. Like if I were gonna make a list of five niche brands that beginners should check out if they're just getting into niche, Mancera would make that top five. Next up, let's talk about three new releases from Parfums MDCI. Now these three fragrances technically came out right around the time I did my last This Week in Fragrance video, but I didn't have enough time on that video to cover these, so I'm covering them now. Parfums MDCI has launched the Masterpiece Collection, which is a new series of art-inspired fragrances. The first is L'Homme Ogant. 
This is a nuanced, sophisticated blend of oud, spice, and woods designed for a gentleman who knows he's defined by more than the clothes he wears. It arrives on a wave of sweet, gently energetic Indonesian nutmeg, building into a warm, rugged heart of earthy cypriol and sensual hideon. In the base, it has a soft, smooth oud note with a rich melange of resins, woods, patchouli, and vanilla creating a soothing yet complex aura that lingers for hours. Next up, we'll talk about Blue Satin. This is a bright, fresh, exuberantly fruit-forward celebration of a scent, sure to appeal to lovers of fruity, masculine scents everywhere. Impossibly juicy bergamot and electric green notes open the scent in full swing while a deliciously fruity heart really separates Blue Satin from its cohort. With sweet, intoxicating cassis and mouth-watering watermelon set against a hypnotically lush jasmine fresh and elegant in equal measure. That was a mouthful. Finally, a base of gently spiced leather lends longevity without sacrificing the vibrant spirit of the scent. Now, this one, I haven't smelled any of these three, but this one, from what I hear, has a similarity to Creed Aventus. So this may end up being like MDCI's version of Aventus. I'm not sure. Last up, Queer Cavalier. A richly spiced oud and leather scent that nods to the heavy weights of the smoky leather category while carving out a smooth, sophisticated niche all its own. It opens bright and fiery with the crisp Italian red tangerine paired with the luscious saffron, leading into a rich floral leather heart. A warm, powerful base of oud and vanilla hums beautifully. A perfect chord with the still potent thread of saffron that continues to elevate the entire composition with a poised, masculine gracefulness. Each of these three can now be found at Lucky Scent. They're in 75 milliliter eau de parfum size and concentration. They run $250 each. Onto a couple of codes really quickly to wrap this one up. At fragrancebuy.ca, my code GENTS is still active. Uh, if you use that and you spend over $55 US, you'll get free shipping. In case you're unaware or you missed it in some of the previous videos, fragrancebuy.ca is a discounter. They're in Canada. If you're in the US, they ship once per week on Mondays. So be aware, if you buy it on Tuesday, it's not gonna ship until Monday. But again, you use that code GENTS, you get free shipping for anything over $55. They have a lot of fragrances on there that are kind of hard to find and good prices, so check them out. FragranceNet, 37% off code, right here. And also, Indigo Perfumery is going to be having a spring cleaning sale that's gonna be on Sunday, March 10th. I believe they're gonna be having 33 to 50% off of a lot of fragrances but you're only going to be able to access that on Sunday the 10th. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this week in fragrance. Whole bunch of new things announced. Whole bunch of new flankers coming out. Let me know what you're most interested to smell out of the things that I covered today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week with another week in fragrance. Unless there's absolutely nothing announced between now and then, and then I'll see you whenever they announce some stuff. All right, I'll see you guys.